Let my mouth be filled with your praise, that I may sing aloud. My lips shall shout for joy when I sing to you. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Acknowledging our human weakness at the break of this day, we place ourselves before the mercy of God to seek His face and to seek His compassion. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure that those you have endowed with the grace of faith an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, he who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. That day, a bitter persecution started against the church in Jerusalem. And everyone except the apostles fled to the country districts of Judea and Samaria. There were some devout people, however, who buried Stephen and made a great mourning for him. Saul then worked for the total destruction of the church. He went from house to house, arresting both men and women and sending them to prison. Those who had escaped went from place to place, preaching the good news. One of them was Philip, who went to a Samaritan town and proclaimed the Christ to them. The people united in welcoming the message Philip preached, either because they had heard of the miracles he worked or because they saw them for themselves. There were, for example, unclean spirits that came shrieking out of many who were possessed, and several paralytics and cripples were cured. There was great rejoicing in that town as a result. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. Cry out with joy to God all the earth. O sing to the glory of His name. O render Him glorious praise. Say to God, 
how tremendous your deeds. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Before you all, the earth shall bow, shall sing to you, sing to your name. Come and see the works of God, tremendous his deeds among men. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river dry shod. Let our joy then be in him. He rules forever by his might. Cry Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. It is my Father's will, says the Lord, that whoever believes in the Son shall have eternal life, and that I shall raise him up on the last day. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And And with with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never thirst. But as I have told you, you can see me and you still do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I shall not turn them away. Because I have come from heaven, not to do my own will, but to do the will of the one who sent me. Now the will of him who sent me is that I should lose nothing of all that he has given to me, and that I should raise it up on the last day. Yes, it is my Father's will that whoever sees the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and that I shall raise them on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The will of God. If you take a moment this morning as you begin this day, just to ask yourself in a very quiet moment, what is God's will in my life? What is the will of God in my life? We pray this almost every day, thy will be done in the Our Father. And yet we ask ourselves this simple mystery of God's will. Are you clear of what is God's will? Because it's an unfolding experience of life, of this mystery of God's will, every moment, every given moment and day of what God is asking of us. I say this to you this morning because today we have given a clear insight of Jesus' will of the Father. Jesus speaks very boldly of the will of the Father. The will of the Father is revealed today to all of us. It's in the very last line of today's gospel. The will of the Father is for him to reveal who the Son is, to believe in the Son, And those who believe and see the Son has eternal life and will be raised up on the last day. Simple as that. To believe in the Son, to trust in the Son, and you will have eternal life and will be raised on the last day. In the old classic catechism of the church, we have always heard this, to know the Lord, to love the Lord, and to serve the Lord. That was the basis tenet 
or the catechesis for one who becomes a Christian, the revelation. But the question is, do we see the sun? Do we believe in the sun? Do we see the sun and do we believe in the sun? Because the consequence and the end of it is an eternal life. Jesus shows us today. You see this unfolding in the beautiful story of the Acts of the Apostles. The early Christians went through a bitter persecution. And Stephen was martyred. And Saul was filled with that fire to end Christianity. But it didn't end there. It just unfolded because it was a catalyst, a trigger to the whole experience. And how Philip and the other deacons, it's not the same Philip we had yesterday. This is Philip of one of the seven deacons who went on to the Samaritan towns to proclaim the faith of Jesus. To show and to reveal the face of Jesus. The mission continues just to show the face of Jesus. As the Gospel of John would say, we wish to see Jesus. We wish to see the face of Jesus. My experience and your experience of the will of God is simply this, to allow others to see Jesus, to allow others to experience Jesus, to allow others to behold the mercy of Jesus and ultimately to believe in him for the assurance is the eternal life and to be raised up on the last day. Jesus tells us today, that is the will of my Father. To see me is to see the Father. The Father and I are one. Let us continue this experience of the resurrection Jesus, the resurrection Jesus, by asking ourselves, do I reveal the person of Jesus in my words? in my thoughts and in my actions? Do I manifest and mirror the person of Jesus to others? Bless you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands, have made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time, above all, to lord you more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. 
He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defend us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Sebastian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saints Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, to praise and to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not to now sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer that peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Lord has risen and has shown his light upon us, whom he has redeemed by his blood. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Hear, Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure us for eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a reminder, tomorrow morning's Eucharist is at 6.45 a.m. Not 8 a.m. 6.45 a.m. And on Friday, we will have the holy hour at 8 p.m., followed by the Eucharist in the evening. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Pray for the sinner. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father, and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Same, Same to you, Father. Father.